A day after a federal judge struck down California's ban on gay marriage, an appeal has already been filed. Good evening, everyone. Both supporters and critics are prepared to fight for their beliefs, perhaps all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. The ban was voter approved, and it's known as Proposition 8. It restricts marriage to one man and one woman. A federal judge in San Francisco overturned that law yesterday, ruling that it violates federal equal protections and due process laws. Critics and supporters of the ban expected the appeal, and both say the fight is far from over. Tonight, we hear from both sides. When someone goes into a voting booth and votes to take away the rights of a minority, that can't happen. Because at the end of the day, we can't allow the majority to vote on the rights of the minority. Seven million Californians believed that we had a core civil right to organize, to donate, to vote for marriage. One judge in federal, uh, federal judge in San Francisco has stripped us of that core civil right. No date has been set for the, the appeal to be heard. No matter the outcome, the case is expected to eventually make its way up to the Supreme Court. Here in Wisconsin, voters also decided marriage should be between one man and one woman. That, too, has been challenged. So what difference could the California ruling have here in this state? Fox 11's Becky DeVries tonight has multiple views. I'm ecstatic about it. There will be more suits in Wisconsin now. Uh, to fight this thing. Bill McConkey has been keeping a close eye on the same-sex marriage issue for years now. I have a gay daughter. They picked on my kid, and so I got involved. But it's still a constitutional outrage. McConkey filed a lawsuit challenging the state of Wisconsin's voter-approved ban on same-sex marriage. McConkey lost earlier this summer. But now with California's Proposition 8 being reversed, he is hopeful the battle in favor of gay marriage will gain strength. There will be more cases in Wisconsin and other places. And there will be a, continue, a continued attack on the unconstitutionality of the majority being able to strip the rights away from a group of people they don't like. Well, the ruling from the judge is hardly surprising. However, it is disappointing, and it is distressing, actually, to think that a single judge with the stroke of a pen can undo the will of well over a million people in California. Wisconsin Family Action President Jelaine Appling says her organization fights for the preservation of marriage. She, like McConkie, is closely watching the issue and ready to take action. It is always incumbent upon us as citizens and certainly upon us as an organization that has carried this issue over the years here in Wisconsin to be ever vigilant about the attacks on marriage, about the efforts by people who are insistent on redefining it to make sure we're doing what needs to be done protect it here in Wisconsin. Yeah, it's very likely it'll go off the Supreme Court. They Law professor and former it, Wisconsin Supreme Court Justice Janine Geske says it will probably take a year or more for a group of federal judges to determine if the challenge in California is warranted. It's quite possible the decision of those judges will later be appealed to the Supreme Court. It doesn't impact us right now. It's a one federal judge deciding on the California constitutional amendment. If the United States Supreme Court would reach a similar decision, it would mean that the constitutional amendment that we have voted for and passed would be, would be unconstitutional. But we're a long way away from that happening. Becky DeVries, Fox 11 News. Geske went on to say that the group of California federal appeals judges who will review the issue has been known historically to share a liberal philosophy. Although that does not necessarily guarantee, she says, what they would decide on this issue.